Welcome to Chapter 1 of Digital Radiography Provided by Medical Professionals. Upon completing this module, you will be able to identify components of various digital imaging systems, compare digital systems, discuss the imaging receptors that are used in digital imaging, discuss the image acquisition process for computed radiography or CR and digital radiography or DR, discuss the construction and characteristics of the plate, explain differences in direct and indirect capture DR systems, Explain the role of charge coupled devices in digital imaging systems. Discuss factors affecting spatial resolution in digital imaging. Explain the process of image extraction and processing for computed radiography and digital radiography systems. And lastly, describe factors that affect digital image quality. In this module, we will cover the development of digital imaging, including the subtopics of historical development, types of digital radiography systems, a comparison of film and digital imaging, the rationale to move to digital, and of course, the advantages of digital imaging. Radiographic imaging has undergone vast changes in the last 40 years. Digital imaging is one of the most important of those changes. Digital imaging has been possible since the introduction of computed tomography. Computed tomography, which became available for clinical use in the 1970s, was the first imaging modality to combine medical imaging technology with computer technology. MRI, ultrasound, and nuclear medicine continued this trend over the next decade. In the past 20 years, diagnostic radiography has joined the move to digital imaging. The Fuji Corporation introduced the first version of digital imaging when their computed radiography, or CR, system entered the market in 1983. A number of other manufacturers now have CR equipment on the market. When we first introduced, CR had a number of problems associated with high cost, poor image quality, and limitations in the computer technology available at the time. As computer technology improved and more vendors entered the marketplace, the aforementioned problems were resolved. Digital imaging has become the gold standard for medical imaging departments and is employed in every imaging modality. Digital imaging can be divided into two major categories, computed radiography and digital radiography. These systems can be differentiated by the type of image receptor used. CR systems use a photosimilar storage phosphor plate known as PSP or an IP as the image receptor, or IR, as we know it. The IP, or imaging plate, is housed in a cassette that is very similar to a film screen cassette. 
Once exposed to x-rays, the imaging plate must be processed in a plate reader to transform the latent image stored in the IP. The IP must be erased prior to being used for a subsequent exposure. <clears throat> Digital, or DR, usually refers to an image receptor that may be inside a device that bears some resemblance to a traditional cassette, or the image receptor may be part of the X-ray equipment itself and never handled by the radiographer. In either case, once the exposure is taken, the image data is sent to a computer and the image receptor is immediately ready for the next exposure. DR uses flat technology and flat panel detectors with thin film transistor technology that are categorized as direct capture or indirect capture. The basic differences between conventional film screen imaging, computed radiography or CR, and digital radiography or DR are the image receptors used to capture the latent image and the methods used to transform the latent image into the manifest or visible image. Digital images are composed of numerical data that can be easily manipulated by a computer. Image brightness or visible density and contrast can be altered by the computer during post-processing. Therefore, regardless of the original exposure factors, within reason, any anatomic structure can be optimally visualized. Digital imaging offers several advantages over film screen imaging. For example, it provides increased contrast resolution which means more shades of gray are available based on pixel byte depth of the system. Also, it can promote greater productivity from the workforce because digital imaging potentially allows for fewer steps in the imaging process. Departments can increase throughput or serve a greater number of patients. And unlike film screen imaging, digital images allow for manipulation and enhancement in post-processing. Another advantage is that images may be electronically transmitted for consultation with providers in other locations including distant countries. Images can be viewed by many caregivers simultaneously and are not lost in the process. And finally, digital images have wider dynamic range because they exhibit a linear response to x-ray exposure. A relatively large number of exposure values can be used to produce a diagnostic image. These advantages will be explained in greater detail throughout this series. Film screen systems are considered analog imaging due to the continuous series of grays that the signal records on the IR, or film in that case, 
In digital systems though, CR or DR, the image signal is a series of individual discrete values, not shades of gray. Digital image receptors respond to a wider range of X-ray exposures, resulting in a wider dynamic range. The response of each system can be illustrated by comparing the D log E or H and D curve of a digital image receptor and film screen image receptor. As can be seen here, the digital IR response is linear and therefore a greater number of density values can be displayed as opposed to the film screen response, which reaches a point where shades of gray cannot be distinguished or known as the DMAX. So in this series, we will refer to both computed radiography, CR, and digital radiography, DR, as digital imaging. Both are digital imaging processes with the only distinction being the image receptor that is used. CR is the earliest form of digital imaging. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our All Access Pass, where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.